guys, Sandy here. Welcome to another stretch the sketch. Today we are using this sketch and it was created by Heather Landry. I am actually shrinking the sketch down to a six by eight uh, layout. So let's see what I can do. Now I knew as soon as I saw the sketch that I wanted to use these hexagon stickers that have been in the Chamel sticker book. They've been sitting there for a while, never even uh, peeled one off the paper, had only used those circles there. So I was super excited to be able to get these used up. And I decided to kind of do like a intentional random pattern. So I was making sure that I wasn't putting each of the color, uh, like the same color theme stickers in the same direction. So the little pink triangle would not be facing the same direction on every single hexagon that I placed down. I just wanted to make sure um, that it, it, it looked random, but I was intentionally making it look random. So you know how it goes. Now, I quickly realized that I was not going to have enough hexagons to cover the entire page. I would have really had to shrunk uh, down the sketch even more. So I decided to figure out where exactly my photo was going to set and then I went ahead and put down the hexagons. Now this photo is a photo of New York. Um, we are on top of the Empire State Building and taking pictures out over the city and I am using Chamel's uh, Sparkle City collection. I got this collection um, to scrapbook our 20th wedding anniversary and uh, fun fact, I've just about killed that entire collection and uh, what I thought was just going to be a couple of layouts with some fun product left over to play with has turned out into an entire album of layouts because I just love the products and they just went so well uh, with our New York City trip and all of the building photos that I took. I would say 80% of the building photos. Um, 80% of the photos that I took were uh, buildings. Now this is from the journaling pad. This piece that I'm cutting off here as well, this little banner piece. And I'm just layering that up over top of the hexagons and I'm making sure that uh, my photo is going to span that space. So you're not going to have a gap. So you're not going to be able to really tell that the hexagons don't go all the way through. Now this green piece of paper is not from Sparkle City but it matches that one sheet of green that Chamel had put into the layout so well that I figured it would be great for this layout. And plus I have used other uh, parts of this green sheet of paper elsewhere in my, um, in my album. So that worked out great. <laughs> now I just have to figure out how I'm going to get these to layer and where exactly they are going to lay to get like the perfect uh, placement. And I decided that's gonna be the perfect placement right there and pop that photo down. Now I am gonna mat the photo on this holographic paper. Now this paper is not from uh, the Sparkle City collection, but it is from a Crayola from years and years ago. I had a pack of it that I bought on clearance and um, I've just been holding on to it and I'm so glad I did because now I've got this paper and I can use it. So that is awesome. So while I am trying to figure out what I'm going to put where as my title, be sure that you click all the links down below for all of the ladies who are participating in the Stretch Your Sketch uh, series this month. We do the do uh, boy. I'm having a hard time talking tonight guys uh, We do this series once a month. It's usually on the third Sunday of the month and there is a core group of ladies and sometimes uh, we Each like individually might skip a month, but there's always a group of ladies um, That are doing the stretch the sketch now this is the cut apart sheet and I'm trying to figure out what kind of fun thing I'm going to put on top of the photo and kind of give it uh, that, that piece. Now I have used just about every single building in this collection and I've cut it apart 
and used it on layouts. And then I discovered that yes, there is one more place where I can get some buildings and that is off of the cut apart sheet on the tag. So I am going to go ahead and cut off um, the buildings off of the paper just so that it has, it, it looks like a skyline, like it, and you're gonna be able to see like behind the skyline and through the skyline, and it's not gonna have this hunk of blue paper or this hunk of blue sky, because I don't want that. Uh, I, I do want you to have attention to this piece, but if you're able to look through it kind of and like see behind it, then your eye is going to go there naturally. If I had left the sky on and plunked it down there, you would see that as one uh, cohesive element on the page and you would look at it as that, but I don't want you to look at it that way. I want you to see the buildings and it bring your eye even further into the page to the actual buildings. So I am using my uh, Glitter Girl scissors here and I usually do use them to fussy cut or my big uh, like regular size Fisker scissors. Now the biggest tip I can give you with fussy cutting is use scissors that feel comfortable in your hands. So if you think you have to use the teeny scissors to fussy cut, but they really are uncomfortable in your hands, put them down and get a pair of scissors that feels comfortable. And then you're gonna hold your hand with your scissors in them still. You will just be opening and closing your uh, hand so that the blades open and close. And then use your other hand to move around the paper. I cannot tell you how big of a difference that made for me when I stopped using scissors that did not feel good in my hand and I started using the scissors that felt good because then my fussy cutting, like I didn't mind fussy cutting anymore. I don't mind it at all now. So I did go ahead and layer my little cityscape onto a tag just to give it a little bit more of weight. Um, I felt like my city was kind of floating and I didn't want to have a floating city so I went ahead and put that tag on there. So the layout is almost finished now. Now this is the sticker book and love, love, love the sticker book. These hearts uh, came from Head in the Clouds, but Head in the Clouds and Sparkle City were collections that Chamel made to go with each other. So you can definitely mix and match and coordinate. Now, I just loved Sparkle City to bits. Like, I've used so many stickers, and since I've filmed this uh, layout here, I've used so many more. Like, it's, oh, I can't wait to film uh, my Kill a Kit because it is well and killed. It is awesome. Okay. Still flipping through, still trying to figure out what little bit of finishing touches I can do. So I'm gonna add the date and I'm gonna add a little line of journaling. Not a whole lot, just something about what of you um, because I have many other photos. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow everyone else and we'll see you next time.